Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. Can we start with our D major scale? So let's do every note two times in the upper half, but we're gonna check that our fingers are really loose on the bow. Can you tap your first finger? Tap, 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 two middles. Good, and a little. Good, okay, here we go. And we're gonna play with, ooh, what's a little holding on? And to stay slightly curved. Good. Two, two, one, one, three, three, and all the way to the frog. Good. And then every note once for two beautiful beats. Good. And we're going to take it, we're going to pop the bow over, and we're going to look at the thumb. Good. Here we go. And B. And can we do some silent bow placement? So we're going to put our bow at the frog. Good. And in the middle. Middle. And at the tip. Good. And back to the frog. Good. Letting the thumb be. It's like a bouncing frog. Yeah. Well, we don't want to bounce it because we want the arm to be resilient. But we want the bow to be just easy here. And then to the tip again. Tip. Good. Oh, that's a good. And how about on the D string? Same thing. So D and to the frog. Maybe don't bounce too high. And then to the middle. To the middle. Good. And to the frog. Good. And I'm just oh, I'm checking out that old thumb of yours. Good. It's really loose here. Good. And how about let's do some bow wanderings on the A string. Have you ever seen bunny's ears? Too like. Yeah. And A. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay. And let's do our. Did you get. Did you learn all of Andantino for today? The new piece? Okay. Good. And so really loose these fingers here. Good. And two, three, four. One, two. And two, three, four. Good. I think let's play open. 
keep the bow on the string, but what we're going to do, we're going to lift and play. Lift, play.
have a shape. Your piece has a shape. Really good. So now the next piece to learn is maybe in a few days, just as this one, because they're somewhat interchangeable, uh, is um, beautiful. 
Cool. Okay, let's do your perpetual motion with double troubles. And then my flashcards. Okay, we'll definitely get to your flashcards because we probably have to add the D string today too. <gasps> okay, so here, let's do, how about double troubles starting on A. So A, B. from beginning to end so you know exactly what you're doing mm -hmm. okay so let me just show you with your bow once more so if your bow is here where should your bow live that's it and should it be crooked crooked that's it that's it good so your arm has to find the place where it's going to be the most comfortable because you're going to get the best sound so as long as you have to play it, why not just get the best sound to begin with? Does that make sense? And here we go. And three, one.
El Greco, so it showed her how to do that. And we're just um, looking at the bow that it gets the most beautiful tone. So how about, let's do long, long ago with that beautiful bow that's gonna be very straight. Ready, sing. <laughs> Allegro, and then we're going to do flashcards. Let me ask. 
ask you some questions. Can you play a D for me? You can play a couple places. Good. Good. How about the D on the A string? That's excellent. Okay, how about a few E's? Take your flashcards here. Can I put my violin down? No, because you have to play these notes too. Okay. Okay. The so kind of mix. That's good. That's good. Okay. How about what's the what's the name of this note? And E. And that's perfect. And this one. Because what's the name of this note? B. It's a B. Exactly. Okay. I lost it. I lost it. I did lose it. Okay, let's see. How about we did that already? Do you have all the notes here? Mm-hmm. Okay. How about this note? <laughs> Nothing. You're right. That was a trick question. So you never know what's going to come out. Okay. Oh, how about this one? And the name of that? D. D. Good. Okay. Oh, lots of trick questions here. I guess they're just waiting to be filled up. Let's see. Did we do all the notes? So how about the third finger on the E string? A. Okay, you got it. Really good. Is that fun to do? Yeah. So why don't you add the D string? And then you can add the G string. And just keep going through your book and writing in the names of all those notes. And then uh, maybe I'm going to give you another wonderful book for you. This is for you. And I'm going to give you, oh, it's called The Blue Book. The Little Blue Book. Love it. And it's a friend of mine wrote this wonderful book. Bonnie Green. Oh, and there are even flashcards included. I forgot. Wow, you could just take them out here. And you can just go through this book and find the notes and uh, just have a good time with this and Flora will help you. Any questions? No, but... And that's yours. That's right. Just keep, keep your collection there. Okay, Sadie. You had a great year, by the way. 